So how y'all doing tonight? Y'all doing well? I thought we would play with ribbon tonight. So tomorrow night in my um, in my design group that I have, we're going to be doing this. Isn't this cool? I am obsessed with this thing. I have been dying to do it. So we're doing it tomorrow night in my group. And what I wanted to do was do some bows to put on this because it's going to take a while to do this just by itself. So, I thought it would be a lots of fun to do bows tonight. Besides, everybody is always wanting to see bows, right? You can never have enough training on bows, I think. I'm so excited. So we're going to do several different kinds of bows because I just thought it would be fun. But first I want to tell you, yeah, there's Bella. Hi, baby girl. So I've almost hit 60,000 on YouTube. So I was thinking, what am I going to do when I hit 75? So 75 is my next big milestone. So I wanted to show y'all this is what I will be giving away when I hit 75,000 on YouTube. So if you've never seen this before, this is the Probo the Hand, and this is the deluxe one that's really hard to get. So I've never used it because I just don't really uh, need one quite this large. But I thought it would be an excellent giveaway for when I hit 75,000. So when I hit 75,000, we're going to give this away. I'm excited. So I'll put it over here. Alright. So I thought we would do <coughs> something for a bow. And we're also going to make some poinsettias. Have y'all made any of these ribbon poinsettias before? Because these are really cute to put on something like a tree. Can you see that? Let's see if you can see that. You see? Isn't that cute? So this is actually a double poinsettia. We're going to make one of those too. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a bow to go on top. On the very top. So, and we are going to use the Pro Bow. Yep, today there's no supply list. It's just whatever ribbon you want to use for yours. Okay. So let me move this stuff because I want to make sure you can see. So I think what we're going to do for the big bow to go on top, and usually if I'm going to do a tree bow, I go out to F, but this is not quite as large as a tree, so I'm going to do E. I'm going to do row E. Unless y'all want me to go to F. Y'all know I am obsessed with ribbon, so anytime I can make bows, I am all for it. All right, let me get my wire out. Where's my paddle? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm just going to take some wire. I think this is 24. This is 26 gauge. Alright. So I'm going to cut two about 20 inches long. Hi. How are you all? Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just want enough to make sure you have a good amount left over. So when you get the Probo, you get this with it. So this is your spool ho holder. Okay. So there's a difference when you use the Probo and when you use the Easy Bow. So let's talk about that first. 
So if you're using the easy bow, what you put on the bottom is the bottom of the bow. With the pro bow, wow, look how much glitter I have on this thing. When you put it on, the first ribbon is the top. So you want to put your ribbons that you want to go on the very top on first. Okay, so let me get us zoomed in here. There we go. So this is how we're going to do it. I love using the one and a half inch. So we're going to do one and a half inch on the top. So remember this is the top. And I have these coming out the wrong way. Nope. So you want to have them pulling from this direction. At least that's easier for me. Okay, so I just set them on top of each other because what I'm going to do is I'm going to load them on together. More bang for our buck. <laughs> right? Okay, so I'm going to do, uh, let's do 16 inch tails. So I'm going to explain why we're going to do the two wires. So the first wire, you use it, hi, to load it on to the bow maker. So you take where you're going to put your tail and you're going to tie it on one good time. You want it to be pretty good and tight because you don't want it to come loose. You're going to put it on this little middle finger. You don't want to go down to the bottom because you're going to have too much trouble working with it if you do. You want to go counterclockwise. Very important. If you don't, it's going to pull your ribbon over and you're going to have trouble working with it. So if you've had trouble working with your Probo, check and make sure you're putting your wire on counterclockwise. Alright, and then what you do is I'm going to take all three together, all three one and a half inch, I'm going to go around that first finger and I'm going to come back. This is where your second wire comes in. So the second wire, hi, is called the helping hand. So I just find the center the purpose of this is to hold the bow on the bow maker so that you can take your hands off and you don't have to keep holding it. So you take it, you slide it behind this group right here, you see that? And then you just shimmy it right in front of that finger. So can you see right here? It's right here. So now when I take this and I go back to the center and I pinch it and twist it, I can tie this with my helping hand. So you just twist it one good time and then keep one up and one down so you can continue to do that. All right, then you go around again. back to the center. Now you can continue to twist your helping hand in between each one or you can just do it at the beginning and the end of your ribbons. It really just depends on what you like. It's not a requirement. I usually just do it at the end. Okay, so we're going to do, oh let's do maybe three this way. One good thing to remember is to pull that ribbon out. The more you have pulled out, the easier it is to deal with when you're going around these pegs. So don't be shy about pulling it out. Yep, it's the E finger. Okay, because it's for a tree. Now, if you're going to do it for a regular tree, then I would do the F finger. But since we're doing it for this deco mesh tree, 
we're going to do it a little differently. All right. So I've got it. Pinch it. Now I'm going to trim it off to match the other one. Okay. There we go. Now I can take my helping hand and I'm going to tie it on really good and tight. And then I can move my tails out of the way like that. Okay. So we did three, one and a half inch together. Now we're going to do three, two and a half inch together. Because <laughs> it's just fun. And we can. So how are y'all doing? Have you gotten your Christmas shopping done? Because I'm going to tell you, with all the craziness in my life lately, grief. I just started my Christmas shopping. So, yeah. Because that's fun. So I take all three, just like we did with the one and a half inch. You just stack them on top of each other. We're going to do 16 inch tails, just like this. I'm going to load it onto that helping hand. Wait. My little bottom one slipped out. There we go. Okay. So just load it on one good time. I don't know why this little one likes to slip out. Okay. And then I'm going to pull them as one piece. So remember what I said. Pull some out so that you have plenty to work with. And then go around. Come back. Pinch. Twist. See how it easier it is if you have, if you have more pulled out? And when you're working with three, it can be a little bit more challenging. However, you get a really nice big bow. And if you just go nice and slow and be patient, you'll work it just fine. So pinch. Twist. You always want to twist so you can get that pretty side back up. Go around that next finger. Back to the center. Pinch, twist. Around that next finger. Okay. And make sure you're keeping your ribbons all straight so there won't be a problem at the end. Yep, we're going to do this one. We're going to do the Easy Bow Maker. And we're going to do some by hand, too. So don't worry. There will be something for everyone. Alright. So pinch, twist. This is our last one. But you see, this is how you can get more ribbons in. And still use the Probo. So this is going to have a lot of ribbon in it. But we want it to be big. Alright, so I'm going to pinch and twist. And then I'm going to take that helping hand. And I'm going to twist that on really good. Okay? And then, I'm going to trim it off. There we go. So then what you need to do is you need to find the beginning of this top one and pull it out
I don't know why it's stuck in there, but don't worry. So take it out. I'm just going to pop it off, and then we'll get that wire. Okay. So I just pulled it off. I'll put this away. Now what you want to do is you want to take your two wires that you started with and your two wires from the helping hand and you want to tie them together. And that just helps so that nothing comes loose. So it goes around the entire thing. Okay. Alright. So I'll just take all of the wires like this. And I will pull, pull that bow as tight as I can make it and then just twist them together. Ooh, this is going to be big. But I do like to pull it and make sure there's no play left in that bow. Like that. And then we can pull out our flip box. So you just take this big, it's like a mess right now, and you just hook it under that little hook and put it around the peg. Now when I'm working with bows, I like to start from the bottom. I just find the bows come out better if you start from the bottom. So I move my tails around just so they're not in my way. And then I'll start pulling. And I'm going to pull them in opposite directions because I don't want them to all have the same bows on top of each other. Okay. So I'll go to this side. And they're tied in there well. Don't be afraid to pull and yank because that's what's going to make it big and pretty and full. Okay. Yeah. All right. You see how pretty that is when you add in those extra ribbons? Look how full that is. That is a full bow. And we haven't even gotten to the top yet. Okay, so just pull it the same way. Get opposite ends. And they pull very well because they're anchored on this on this base. There we go. Now all we do is just fluff them up. Woo, that's big, isn't it? Look at that mamba jamba. That thing is huge. See, now if you're doing this for a tree topper, you could just put all kinds of things inside it. All right, let's take this off. So you can see it. Alright, let me pull this up a little bit. Alright. So then you just put it on, fluff them out a little bit more. But look at that. Look how big that is. You see how big that is? Look at that. Thing is huge, isn't it? So see, look at this. So when we decorate this tomorrow, we can put this. Let me make sure you can see it. There we go. So see, we can put this right on top. Can you see how it already looks like the top of a tree, a big tree bow?
I like it. I think I'm going to have to hide that from my brother. Because he'll be down here trying to get it. <laughs> All right. So would y'all like to see how to make one of those by hand? Because that's fun too. Not exactly that way, but what we'll do is we'll do a uh, double. Let's do a double one. Okay. So we don't really need this right now. So this is a really easy, actually let's keep this. This is a really easy one. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my spool holder just because it's easier for me to roll them out. Okay, this is a cool little trick I learned a few years ago when I was out at Sim, no, at Carolina Pottery one time. They have this awesome designer out there and she is the bomb. And every once in a while she's up there doing bows and of course being a bow obsessed person I'm up there watching so you can do it oh let's do about 14 inches okay so what you do is you take two ribbons you put them together you measure out you can measure out from your fingers to your elbow and that's about how far you want to make it you fold it over just like this so see, this is the inside of the ribbon to the inside of the ribbon. We're going to do this, is it six times? I think it's six times. So when you fold it over, you always want to make sure you can see the outside of the ribbon or you won't have it right. So let's see, we did one, two, three, four, five, Six. So we've gotten six. So let's make sure. One, two, three, no, four. <laughs> I was shortening it. Five. You want to go all the way around. Six. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. So trim it off at the end. All right, and so this is what you have right now. Yep, fluff box is the bomb. So you're gonna fold it over so that it's end to end like this. And what I like to do is I like to crease this part up here. Now what I'm gonna do next, don't let it scare you, okay? You're gonna trim it just a little bit in Okay, so you want about this much on each side. This helps you maneuver the bow a little bit better. So just be careful when you're cutting in there. You want a decent amount, but not too much. I'm going to use one of these pre-cut floral wires because they're really thick. Hi, how are you? So these are 18 gauge. So if you don't know, the lower the gauge of the wire, the thicker it is. So you place it inside those slots. See that? Try to find the center. You see how easy this is? Now, you want to bend that wire and tighten it. And it can be hard because it is tight. I've never seen one at Hobby Lobby. But it is just a heavy box, so you can just find a heavy box. You could make a fluff box. Alright. So I have it nice and tight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the center. First I'm going to take these two pieces and I'm going to move them back here, okay? Then I'm going to open this up and I'm going to look for where the ribbon is back to back, okay, right there. So I'm going to pull these tails out and pull them to the back. See, you can just pull it right out, okay? Now, 
You're going to take one side at a time, finding where it's end to end in the center. You just pull it out one to the front, one to the back, one to the front. So you just keep going back and forth. Okay? Then one to the front, one to the back. So you're just alternating just like you do normally. Okay? So you're just alternating front, back. Back, front, front, back, okay? So just like this, okay? This is one of the easiest hand bows you can ever make, and it's not hard. Don't be afraid, you just got to try it, okay? Now. I just like to slip it on here so that I can just kind of fluff these up. Because they look a little funky until you fluff them up. Okay. So then all you're doing is just fluffing up your bows, okay? Put those around. Now you can add tails. I didn't just because I don't know why. I just didn't. <laughs> just want to fluff them up like this. And of course it came right off my fluff box, so it won't matter. So you see, all you do is fluff it. You can yank on it as much as you want. So you can pull some down, some up. Okay. Some down, some up. Like that. My wire's a little too short to put it on the fluff box, but you get the general idea. I'll show you one that I made. So this is one that I made using that method. So all you do is you just keep fluffing it up until you get it like this. So I won't make you sit here and watch me fluff this for 10 minutes. <laughs> Because that's about what it takes. It does take a little bit to fluff this one out, but it does turn out really pretty. So. See, and I'll stand here and mess with it all day. Alright. Alright, let's do another one by hand. Oh, and then we're going to do... So let's do another one by hand and then we'll do the easy bow maker and then I'm going to show you how to make, I'm going to show you how to make this. Isn't that cool? We're going to learn how to make this in just a minute. Okay. Let's see, let's do, let's do this ribbon. I love this ribbon. This is the Sam's ribbon. Alright. This one is also easy. Okay. So I'm going to measure out about 16 inch. Alright, so what you're doing is you're starting with the tail. Okay? Let me zoom in so. Okay? You're starting with the tail. You take about 2 or 3 inches to make the center. Okay? Like that. And once you get it like this, you're going to take this center and you're going to twist it all the way around. Okay, so see, it's got to be twisted 
so that when I put my finger in there, it's completely twisted. So you're just twisting it in a complete circle, okay? Then what you can do, so the way I like this bow is that you don't have to measure, okay? So you can just go a little bit larger. So you see that? Get to the center, twist it, okay? Then I'll just kind of pull this out to the front, make sure these match. So you see no measuring, okay? Twist, you just wanna go a little bit larger than this one, okay? So all the while, I'm holding my thumb in the middle of this. Now, if you can't hold your thumb in there, what did I do with that? Oh, Lord, did my hubby take it? Dog it. I think he took it. Let's see if I have a... No. Oh, ha! I was blaming him, and it's sitting right here. So you can take a clothespin and put it right in there and keep using that back and forth. Okay, so then if you have trouble with your hands, that's what you'd want to do. Alright, so you see I'm going out not quite an inch, but every time I get to the center, I twist, I come around a little bit farther, okay, make sure they match, so I'm just pulling them up in the center making sure they match, okay, and I twist it just a little bit farther. And there's a couple different ways you can do this bow, but we'll go through that. See, like that? Pinch it. Twist it. Remember, if you have trouble, use that pin or use a chip clip. Chip clips work really well, too. Okay? But I just hold my thumb in there. Really holding your thumb in there is not bad. Okay, let's see if these match. Yes. So we're going to do one more. Okay, and then that's going to be it. You know what? These are really great for packages too. Do you ever like to make bows for your packages? These are really great bows for packages. Okay. Let's make sure it's about where we want it. There we go. You're having trouble seeing what? So twist in that center. Go out farther than the last one. There we go. Let's make sure they match. This is our last loop. They do. All right, so we have this one out front. I'm just gonna pull this one out, trim it off. Okay. Okay, so then I'll take some wire, or you could take a pipe cleaner, it's not really going to matter, and I'm going to run it right through the center where my thumb is, okay. See, there's the wire, and I just want to twist it on nice and tight, okay. Now, if you were going to put this on a package, you would just put it right like this. You see how it's just one straight bow crossed? So have you ever seen those bows and wondered how they made it? Well, that's how they make it. Or you can spread it out. See, that's a really easy one, too. So all you're doing is you're putting the links across from each other. But I like this one. It's a cute one, too. 
See, that one's really, really simple. You see, this would also make a cute one for a package or a wreath. All right. Let's do the easy bow. Right? It's easy. It's so easy. Okay. So we're going to do Khalid's favorite bow. Let's do Khalid's favorite bow. Let's do... Uh, let's use this one. No, you know what? Let's save that for the... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put two and a half inch on. We're going to go out to eight. So remember, the difference with this one is that what you're putting on first is the bottom of the bow, okay? Not the top, like it is with the Pro Bow. So you just put it on. You can see there's measurements on here. Twist when you get to the center. We're going to go out to the six. So see the six is right here. Put it through. There's the six. Twist it. There's the six on that side. So we're going right to the six. Then we can pull these two out. Twist it. All right, we're going to go to the six again. Okay. and six again so we're doing our little Merry Christmas at the bottom all right so all of them are at six so the great thing about this is you know that your bows are even because you're actually measuring it on the board. Okay. Hi Ruthie, welcome. Okay, so we got this one on. Let's put this one next. Okay, so this is also a Sam's ribbon. As you know, love my Sam's ribbon. So we're going to do two with this one. We're going to do the same length. Okay? So we go to the six. Okay? Put it down. Twist it. Go out to the six. Put it down. I'm going to place it up here. That's just so I can see where I'm measuring. And that's also where it's going to go. <laughs> I think Kali calls this the 321. I'm not positive. Honestly, I'm terrible with names and stuff like that. Okay, so we're doing two with this one. So you do three on the bottom, two on top of that. See there? One on top of that. So you have these three, you put these two in between so this one in between these two this one in between these two you see just like that see this is a very easy bow and let's put this one as our last one okay yep it actually has like a little it is solid red but it has like a little string of glitter in the center so out to the eight for our tail. This is one of my favorite bows. It's very simple, but it's really pretty. This one goes right in between these two reds. I just love the way this bow looks. It's so simple and it's so easy. They're all the same length. 
but it's a really great look. Absolutely, it is absolutely more cost effective to buy in the bigger rolls anytime, bar none, no matter what ribbon you're talking about. So I like to use a zip tie when I'm doing this. I slide it under here. I start it. I don't tighten it, I just start it. Pull it out. You can see where my little tie needs to go here. I'll pull it. Not quite totally done. Okay. Because I want to get another one back here and slide it under here. Okay. And then I can tighten it. Because I now have something I can tie it on with. Okay. But I'm going to show you a little trick in case you accidentally forget. And you get that zip tie on there. Because let's face it, it happens. It happens to me sometimes. Okay. So you can see how this bow comes out. Okay. Alright. Isn't that pretty? Get all your little tails down here. And it looks really pretty if you put it on something. Do you see how that looks? Now, one thing you can do with this, so you see you have your little zip tie showing. So you just want to cut a little bit of your ribbon. And this is the trick that you can put something to hang it with if you forget. I would go get it before it's all gone. So you're just going to fold it in half. All you want to do is make it a small piece like this, okay? You can also use um, pipe cleaners because it will cover it. So you're just going to cover the center like this just so you can cover where that tie is. Now, if you've forgotten to put something like this in, you bring your tie around, you put your pipe cleaner or whatever, your zip tie, pipe cleaner, and you tie it off and you tie that down inside there and then you just twist it off one good time, okay? That's the little trick for if you forget it because um, I've done it. I just get going, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing and then it's like, oh crap, I don't have one in there. So easy little trick. Isn't that pretty, see? See how easy that one is? Hello, how are you? I love this bow. This is one of my favorites. See? And you see how you can't see? You can't see where it's tied. Another good tip trick is just to glue something in the center here where that zip tie is, and then you can't see it. Okay? So you see how different different bows look? So see, this is the one we did just a few minutes ago, and that's this one. You see how just making little changes makes a big difference in a bow? All right. Do we want to do one more bow, or do you want to go to doing the poinsettias? tell you, I love this Easy Bow Maker, and um, tonight on YouTube, whenever I can get the thing to finish processing, I have, um, I did a Dollar Tree lantern with the Dollar Tree picture frames, and I made the largest darn bow <laughs> with Dollar Tree ribbon, and I made it with this Easy Bow. Let's do the flower. All right. Let's do it. I love making these. Have y'all made any of these before? These are so much fun. And they're so easy. So, the tricks I have for this, if you can find ribbon that's a little bit stiffer, um, so this has 
a tiny bit of burlap in it. Let's see what it says. Let's see if it has anything about it. No, of course not. But you see, it's a very thick. You see how that's a thick kind of... And you can find this sometimes at the Dollar Tree, ribbon like this. But this is kind of thick. You see how if I fold it in half, it folds very well. So ribbon like this works really well for this. Now it doesn't have to be that ribbon. It can be anything as long as it has some kind of wire. See this doesn't really have, well, it doesn't really have wire. It just has this very sharp edge on it. So you're going to measure out 8 inches. I wish I had a perfect tail for 8 inches, but I don't. So I'll just use that. You need five of them. Okay. So these are all eight inches. Okay. You only need five. You can do this with two and a half inch and you can do this with one and a half inch. So you're going to stack them all together just like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut at an angle and you're going to make a point. Okay. Just like that. So if you get one side higher than the other, which I do sometimes, just trim it again. Not a big deal. Okay. So I don't measure. I just cut. That's good. Alright. Doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to see it. If it's just a tiny bit off, it's not a big deal. Alright. That's where this little thing comes in. Don't you hate that, Diane? I absolutely hate that stuff. Hi, Jacqueline. Where can you get the perfect tail? Um, it's at Burlap Boutique. I think it's Burlap Boutique store. Or is it just Burlap Boutique? You can't see well? Let me zoom in. Let's see if that's better. All right, there we go. So I have eight inches. I just cut a point. You see the points? So when you're putting these together, you can either have a heavy object or something like a clothespin or something like that near you because it helps so that you don't have to hold them in your hands. Because I'm not going to hold it in my hands. So I take this, I fold it in half, like that. And then I fold it in half again. It reminds me of making paper airplanes. Did you ever make paper airplanes? It's the exact same thing. Okay. Again. So you see, I have it folded in four places. This is where your heavy object comes in place. Set it down on top of it, just like that. Then you can go on to your next one. Okay. Fold in half, like this. Fold down, all the way to the edge. Flip it over. Fold down, all the way to the edge. Okay, I'll show you how to do it with this. You just put your pin right on it. Okay, you're going to do that five times. Fold it down. Fold it down. Wait, did I just do that backwards? I did. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Okay. I got it. And then you just take it. I did do it backwards. Why do I keep doing it backwards? There we go. Inside to inside. 
I knew that looked funny. So see, then I just take them, put them together, put my pen right back on them. Trust me, this will save your hands because if you don't, you're going to be sorry. Because <laughs> your hands will start hurting by the time you're done. Okay. It also will make it slightly easier for you when you get to the end. Okay. So fold it in half. So you want this part to be on the inside. Like that. Fold it down. Fold it down. Just like that. Now all you do is you put them all together. Okay. Like this. Then I just take and put my pin around it one more time while I get my wire. Okay. Alright. So there's my wire. I just unclip it, put the wire in the center. I like to kind of push them up a little bit just to try to get it nice and tight in the center. And then all you're going to do is pull them out and arrange them. It's that simple. That's it. Okay, so this is a single one. You see how awesome that is? How easy is that? So then you can take like little berries and get it off there and you can glue little berries right in the center. Ta-da! And there you have a poinsettia. See, isn't that cool? Now, let's do the double one. So when you want to do this and you want to do a second layer on it, okay, all you do is you're going to take your ribbon. See, I'll tell you why I like to do these. I like to do these because you can make it in the colors that you want. Doesn't have to be, you know, the ones that you find at the store. So I'm going to measure out six inches this time. Okay. There we go. So see, you want it to be lighter, smaller than the other one. So you could do seven, six. Just depends on how close you want it to be out to the edge. But I usually do six inches. Let's see, I think one, one more. It's the exact same process, just smaller pieces. And so this way you can decide how big you want these to be. So this is what it looks like with eight inches. You see this small one? This is six inches. So you can just play around with it and see which width you want. Okay, so just cut it at an angle. I'm trying to get that point. Doesn't have to be perfect. If it looks off, just trim it again. I don't measure. I don't fold. I just cut. Because it works for me. <laughs> okay, so we got them. I think I might have cut one too many. Three, four, five, yep. Yeah. Alright. Now we're going to make our paper airplane. And we're going to use our clip. Alright, so take it, fold it over so the pretty side is inside, and then fold it down. Just like you're making a paper airplane. Exactly like you're making a paper airplane. Then just clip it in here. You just do this five times. There we go. Now there's all kinds of ways that you can make it even fancier. You can stitch the edges. I'm not that fancy. 
and I'm not really good with the sewing machine. So, forget that. Mine are going to be just like this. I like them though. They look very pretty just like that. See? So the next time you're trying to find a poinsettia and you can't find one, you can just make your own. You just need wired ribbon. Okay. So I got it all. Okay. Okay. Now let's go cut a second piece of wire. Doesn't have to be real long. I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to go right in the center. Twist it nice and tight. Yeah, contrasting colors. I like that. Then you just pull them out. For some reason, that one looks a little tad longer. We can fix that. There we go. Perfect. All right. Then all you do is you just take this. You just go right back where you started from. You wrap your wire right around. Tie it in the back. And then you push them back out. So there you have a double. And then you can, where we put our little things, and you can put your little, see? See, isn't that cool? Don't you love these? I love these. And they look really cute on a tree. So, if uh, you don't have a great way to decorate your tree, if you will make these and set them just like right on the edge or inside, they look adorable. See, look how they look on our giant tree. You see that? You see how cute that is? You could actually do a whole tree in them. I like it because these are really fun colors. This isn't something you'd usually see a poinsettia in. So that's why I like to do them. So let's see, do I have a poinsettia around here somewhere? So this is a poinsettia that I bought at the store. Now, of course, ignore the little snow stuff. But you see, it's very similar. It's really cute. You could just put the little pieces in the center. So this is, of course, a fancier poinsettia, but, but just the regular ones. It looks very close. So right now, all the ribbon is on sale. So my suggestion is go buy especially colors that are like things that you could use all year round. And remember, Valentine's is coming up. So the ones that are red, those are really easy to use for Valentine's. All right, well, I thought this was fun. Did you like this? Mari's been telling me forever I needed to do another bow video, so I thought I would do one live. Yeah. All right, well, I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed evening. And I am back. Um, my father-in-law is did pass away, but um, we are back on schedule now. So I should be able to keep my normal schedule of um, Sundays and Wednesdays. And I have a couple of business tips to catch up on. So I'm going to do that this week. So now I'm back into my routine and, and I should be more consistent on here. All right. 
And for my group members, we're making that tomorrow night. I'm so excited. All right. And if you want more detailed instructions on how to do things and more of the little tips that I have, then you can join my design group. It is $14.99 a month. And we have a great time in there. We go live every week. So they get uh, five they get five instructions every month. One taped one and four lives. All right? Oh, and a Zoom call. Because <laughs> those are the most fun, honestly. All right, well, you all have a wonderful night. And thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me this Sunday night. And I'm going to go drag these downstairs and show them to my mom. Because <laughs> she likes that. All right, thank you for hanging out with me. Have a blessed evening. And I will see you in a few days. Bye-bye.